In this video we're going to look at how to create a simple table. First thing we're going to do is click on create up here. Next we click on table. Now personally I like to go to design view but it wants a name first of all so we're going to call this TBL clients. Now why do we put TBL in front of it? In front of the name clients? It's because we want to identify this object in Microsoft Access as a table. It will become more apparent as you go through further videos but for now we're just going to put TBL clients. First thing we want here is we want to give each record in the database something unique to identify it with. So in this case I'm going to type in client ID. I'm going to press the tab key and we're going to have what's called an auto number here as the data type. What this means is that each time we add a new client we're going to get an incremental number. So the first client we add will have a client ID of 1 and the second client will have the client ID of 2 and so on. I'm going to press tab and we're going to put in here first name. Notice I don't have any gaps between first and name and to make it easier to read I always capitalize the second word in this case or capitalize the first letter of the second word. So tab across we just want to have text you just want to enter in basic text into this field last name we're going to put in city so for where they live we leave that as text DOB date of birth and for this I'm going to choose a date time field tab across again. I want to put some notes about this particular person. So what do we choose for a notes field? Well we're going to choose the memo data type. Now the reason we do that is because memo allows an unlimited amount of text to be typed in so we can make comprehensive notes if we want to. And that's all I'm going to do for now. So what we need to do is close this down and save it. So we can either click over here or you can right mouse click and go close. Do you want to save the changes? Yes. Now that is personally how I like to create a table. So let's have a look at that table. I'm just going to double click it and here you can see the various fields and this is the first record. Notice there is no client ID as yet and the reason for that is because we've got no data in here but as soon as we tab across and enter a first name we can see it's given us a client ID. first one is 1 just enter in some data date of birth let's say the 10th the 5th 90 we're going to leave the notes clear for now I'm going to tab across and it's gone to a new row down here and that means that is saved that record is now saved in the database. So I tab across, notice this marker here. As I start typing, it turns to a little pen, and that means we are editing a record. and you'll notice as soon as we go to a new line the pen disappears that means this is now saved in the database 
So what happens if we decide to edit something up here? You'll notice the pen appears again. And until you go to a new line, it will always stay there. Now that record is saved again. If we had edited that record, for example, that's now stay uh, that is now saved as Steve Jones instead. And that is how we enter data into a table after we've created it. But in most cases, you'll be using a form to enter the data.